Ductus arteriosus is a structure that is derived from the sixth branchial arch and it has an important role in the fetal circulation during which time since there is too much resistance in the pulmonary vessels and not all the blood from the right ventricle can go to the lung it will divert some of the blood from the pulmonary trunk into the descending aorta so here we have the ductus arteriosus and the factors that help keep the ductus arteriosus patent include the low arterial oxygen content during the fetal circulation and then relatively high prostaglandin E2 part of which is being produced by the placenta so after birth when the placenta is removed therefore the level of prostaglandin E drops and then there is also more oxygen in the arteries as a consequence of which there would be a closure of the ductus arteriosus and then after the closure there would be histological changes that will convert ductus arteriosus into ligamentum arteriosum so risk factors to the development of patent ductus arteriosus, which means that the ductus arteriosus doesn't close after birth, include the congenital rubella infection, as well as prematurity. Like for instance, giving birth before 30 weeks of gestation. Complications that can arise in these patients include the A. Senmenger's syndrome so initially since there is too much blood pressure in the left side so in the aorta there is too much blood pressure and so the blood will be diverted from the aorta towards the pulmonary trunk but since there is too much blood inside the pulmonary trunk over the time the resistance of the pulmonary vessels increases and so therefore the pressure on this side would now become more and so the blood will now be diverted back from the pulmonary trunk into the descending aorta and this is referred to as Asenmenger syndrome where the left to right shunting of the blood has over time due to the increased resistance of the pulmonary vessels being changed to right to left and then for the diagnosis of these patients you can use the clinical features like for instance listen to the heart where there would be a continuous machine like murmur that is loudest at the S2 and is best heard in the left infraclavicular area and then the other test that you can use is the echocardiogram now there are medications that can be used to treat the uh, patent ductus arteriosus so you can give these patients indomethacin which is an NSAID that inhibits the COX and the COX enzyme is the enzyme that is required for the production of the prostaglandin so here is the pathway through which prostaglandin is being produced from phospholipids so the NSAIDs like indomethacin inhibits the COX and thus there won't be any more production of the prostaglandin and as I mentioned earlier prostaglandin is one factor that helps keep maintaining the doctor's arteriosus patent so since now there is a drop in the prostaglandin indomethacin helps to um, close the ductus arteriosus and then on the other hand there are situations where you want to keep the ductus arteriosus open for instance let's assume that the patient has the transposition of the great vessels so as a consequence of which this condition is incompatible with life unless there is some other form of abnormalities like atrial septal defects or ventricular septal defects or patent ductus arteriosus to allow the right and the left side of the blood to be mixed together so in these patients if you want to keep the um, ductus arteriosus patent then you can provide them with the misoprostol which is a prostaglandin E1 medication and so again prostaglandin helps keeping the ductus arteriosus open and that concludes our discussion